Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the VMware Workstation Disk Utilities and you could use these tools to do things such as expand your hard drives, defragment them, add additional disks, and so on. As you can see here in this VM we have two hard disks, the C drive with Windows installed and the secondary 10 gig drive which is almost full. So we're going to manage this one here, see if we could free up some space and then expand it later. And then we're also going to add a new drive. So to do that, you go to the VM click on the VM menu here, go to settings, and then you can actually manage each disk by clicking on it under the device list here. But as you'll notice, everything's grayed out because you can't manage them while the virtual machine is running. You could add a disk while the machine is running, but can't manage them. So for now, we're going to shut down the VM, then we'll come back and do some management. Okay, so the virtual machine shut down, so we're going to go to this 10 gig disk here. You could also get to it from this menu. If the virtual machine shut down, you don't have to go to VM. You could click on it right from here. Okay, so um, this option here will map this VMDK file to disk to your host computer. I have another video on that if you want to know how to do that. And there's the defragment option, which will you know defrag just like Windows does. Um, this process takes a little bit of time, but it's not going to uh, free up any space for you, so we're going to skip that, but you can still run this if you like, just if you want to defrag your hard drive. Okay, and then the expand disk capacity we're going to do in a bit, so and then compact it if you want to see if this will free up some space. So you can just click on that to run, and it's pretty quick. This one I think has been compacted before, so that's why it's pretty quick, otherwise it might take a couple minutes. And what you could do is after you compact it, you could see if you freed up any space there. I find it, it'll it give you a few megabytes, but nothing you know too exciting. So for now, we're going to expand this disk by clicking the expand button. And it's 10 gigs now. Let's just bump it up to, I'll make it 20. So we'll double it here. And then click on expand. And this process takes a little bit of time. So depending on how much you're expanding it, it'll determine how long it's going to take here. So we'll just kind of wait this out and be right back. Okay, so the process is complete. It says we've successfully expanded, and it tells us we need to repartition the disk and expand the file systems within the guest operating system. So we'll go ahead and do that now. So now it says 20 gigs. Click OK. We'll restart the VM. Okay, so we're logged in. Let's open up disk management. The easiest way to get to is just to type it in the search box here. Okay, so here's our C drive, and here's the drive that was 10 gigs, and there, there's the extra 10 gigs. It's kind of interesting how it made it disk zero, and this one technically should be disk zero since it was the first disk there. But anyways, okay, so let's go ahead and right-click on the part that's already configured as part of the drive here, and click on Extend Volume, and then Next. Now it's telling us it's going to add this extra 10 gigs that it found. You could use all or some of it. We're going to use all of it. And then finish. Now, simple as that. This is now 20 gigs. And we could actually go to the properties here. Name that 20 gig drive if we want. And if we open up our file explorer here, there's our 20 gig drive. So now we're not in the red anymore. Okay, so now let's go back and add a new disk. Okay, so we're at the hardware tab here. Click on add. So we're going to pick hard disk. We're going to pick the recommended SCSI. You could add a other types too, but if you want to do an IDE or NV NVM drive, you'll have to shut down the VM itself. A lot of people like to use the NVM drives for their new VMs, but we'll just stick with the SCSI for demonstration purposes. Okay, so we're going to do a new virtual disk. If you have an existing disk that you disconnected from a VM, you could attach that to a different VM or physical disk. You could use part of your physical hard drive. We're going to just click with create a new virtual disk. Okay, let's just make this 
10 for demonstration purposes. Okay, so now we could do allocate all disk space. Now what this will do is it'll use up 10 gigs on your drive, whether there's data on it or not. And if you don't check it, then it'll expand as you add data to the disk up to 10 gigabytes. And then if you back up your virtual disk files, you know, some people like to use multiple files for backup purposes to you know, keep it smaller chunks. I just like to use the single file just to keep it clean. Otherwise, you end up with a bunch of different files and it gets kind of messy. Okay, next. And then it adds the name of the VM, then dash it within whatever disk number. This is disk number three in the VM. And then you could add it to a different location if you don't want it to be put with your other disks. And then finish. Okay, so now we have this new disk here. Let's click OK. Go back into disk management. So now it says it found this new disk here and it wants us to initialize it. And you have two options here. MBR is the older style of partitioning. We're going to stick with GPT. Okay, all right, there it is. Okay, so we have this 10 gigs unallocated space. We could right click on it, new simple volume. You were going to use all the space, you don't have to. You could pick a drive letter, anything that's free. It'll list anything that's available. We'll just stick with the next available drive letter. And then you could name it what you want. This will be our new 10 gig disk. And then I always do a quick format. Otherwise, you got to wait quite a while for it to do a full format. And next, and finish. And it's done. And then we could open it. So here's our C drive. Here's the one we extended. Then here's our new 10 gig disk with nothing on it. So it's pretty simple. Like I said, just go to the VM tab in settings. And then you can manage each disk individually and just, you know, like I said, you need to make sure it's off if you want to use most of the features except for adding a new one. So simple as that. Try it out on your VMware workstation and good luck. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.